Hello witches and warlocks and welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to see you again. So how is everyone doing? I hope you're okay. Hope it's been a nice little month for you. We're now in, obviously into a new month and I do believe we, we are in August. Yes, we are in August. I had to think then. Um, so um, like I said, I hope everyone's okay. I hope you had a good time so far this month. It's uh, been pretty much a busy one for me again, as always. Um, but all the time I'm busy, I'm happy, which is good. <laughs> could be worse, I could be stuck indoors for months on end with nothing to do. So um, we have an unboxing for you, of course, that's why I'm here to do this. Um, and today is Freya's Cauldron. Okay, so Freya's Cauldron, for those who don't know, comes in a little blue baggie like this. And it's completely and utterly blank. Okay, just like that, nothing on the box at all. So, which is perfect because there's nothing about this that says, I'm a witch, which is good for those who are in the broom closet. Um, however, because obviously I did say I've been cutting down on boxes lately, um, and I obviously was umming and ahhing about this one, um, because obviously I don't always get the cures and curses because you can pick and choose. Um, you can get it one month, or and then you don't have to get it the following month. I've decided not to get cures and curses this month because I didn't like the theme. Um, not that I didn't like the theme, it's just that uh, the theme was tarot, and I have so much tarot stuff. I, And this is really bad of me, <laughs> so bad of me. I, I have so many tarot decks, but yet bought another one. Um, but it was from a friend, um, my friend Mandy, who's on YouTube. She's, well, she was on YouTube, she's not anymore. Um, she's been on YouTube for years and years and years. She's a witch, like a witch as well, and she was huge, hugely popular. Um, however, she decided that she, her pa Patreon page is getting so huge that she just didn't have time to do both. Um, but she was selling off some stuff because she's moving house. She was selling some jewellery, some um, stuff that she's made, and also some of her tarot that she doesn't use anymore, has never used. And she had a tarot that she's never used that I saw, and it was so amazing. Um, it was like a, an animal tarot. It was like a, um, like a, a wild animal tarot. It's really cool. Um, so I decided to buy it off her, for, and also some jewellery as well. A very decent price. Um, so yeah, so um, I, that's why I didn't get Cures and Curses this month. Um, so there won't be a Cures and Curses video from me this month. There will be um, a Witch Casket one as always. Um, but I was umming and ahhing about Freya's Cauldron because they've they've actually started doing a new range of ornaments that they put into here. And I'm not really one for having a ton of ornaments of, of goddesses and gods. So I was going to get this and, and find out what direction they were going in um, and then see if I wanted to get it next month or not. I don't know, um, I'll see. So anyway, um, we're gonna open this up. You guys are going to get the first look, as always. It's something like this. There we go. So Freya's Cauldron on top there just says that they plant trees now. For every box you get, they plant some trees and then we got the information on top which we won't look at just yet okay then it looks like this is our little artwork so it's a5 a5 i think no a a3 a3 i'm thinking of not i think it's a3 i'm not entirely sure it might be a5 actually i think this might be a5 a5 Usually the small one's A5, isn't it? I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, so it says um, Lilith, I think. Lilith? I'm um, right. Yeah, Lilith. Now, Lilith for me was always um, the a goddess that sort of went along with the devil like, or, or Satan or whatever it was. I don't know. Or Lucifer. Um, I mean, it could be. I could be wrong. But in the Sabrina, that Lilith is the the girlfriend, or she's the um, um, what they would know as Adam and Eve sort of thing. But yeah. Um, so I don't know much about my goddesses. Um, oh, she's the goddess of knowledge by the looks of things. But Lilith, obviously, for me as 
like I say, I'm only going by TV. Could be wrong, of course, because you never should go by TV completely. Because if you went by Sabrina, then pagans are very, very evil. <laughs> and we're not at all. Um, so yeah, so don't ever listen to TV all the time, because they can be wrong. But yeah, this is Lilith. So yeah, that's quite cool. Um, then we have this. Oh, hello. So we've got a page on fire. Now this is quite cool. I like this. You know we in elements. This looks like an element box. So this could be a fire element box by looks of things. Which is cool by me. Which means if I'm right, this was the box that we that I got the little round metal thing for your altar that said water. I think we had water last time. Um, and if that's true, then this might be a case of I have to carry on until I get all of them. <laughs> so yeah, fire, it says, which is quite cool. I do like my elements, you know that, guys. Then next we have Fred's Cauldron, Car um, Carnelian Courage Charm. So we'll open that and see what's inside. Carnelian Courage Charm. Now, with um, Fred's Cauldron... You don't always get the stuff you need inside here. So um, we got a little stone. So we, all we've got is the stone. And then it does say on here what you need, but I, I'm not gonna read that just now because it does seem to spoil what else is in here, what is, else is in the box, because they don't always put everything you need in the little packages because they tend to put it in the box for you. Everything sort of blends together. We then got another one because we always get two. Um, we've got fill your life with joy spell. So this is a spell, not charm kit. So this is an actual ritual. Again, they don't always put everything you need in here because it will be in the box. Okay, looks like they've got. Excuse me, I just had dinner. I keep burping. Um, we got a little orange candle. And what looks like we got some herbage going on. I will tell you what the herb is. Uh, again, because I don't want to spoil anything. We've got an orange candle and a little mix of joy herb blend. So it's just a joy herb blend. Um, so yeah, so this looks like it's going to be a fire box, which makes me very happy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. What's going on with me today? Um, Okay, so we've got this little baggie, and it's got a little bracelet in it. Now, luckily, I <laughs> I have very small wrists. Um, so, I'll show you on this wrist, because I've got a watch on that one. So, luckily, I've got small wrists, and it goes around my wrist just nicely. Um, if you've got really thick wrists, it is quite stretchy, but it's not going to look as good, I don't think. But I've got girly wrists, so nothing wrong with that. But for a boy, I've got quite small wrists. Um, but it's got different stones on it. I don't quite know. We've got quartz by the looks of things. I couldn't tell you what the rest are though. Um, because I'm not very good with that sort of thing. And I've lost the baggie now, guys. Oh, and I've dropped the thing. Right. Um, oh, there he is. There he is. So we've got a little purple baggie, which we'll find out what these are, I'm sure, in just a short while. Then we've got another little tiny little charmy type thing. Oh, it's a key ring by the looks of things. And it's a key ring and it's got um, crystals on it as well. Looks like, um, oh God, that's no, quite nice actually. I couldn't tell you what crystal it is. I want to say amethyst. I could be wrong. I could be wrong and probably am. Okay, guys, then we've got the crystal of the month, and this one's got to be obviously to do with fire. And I think we've had one of these before somewhere else, so this will be something along that, like a a dragon something, or it'll be along that lines. Um, I've had this crystal before, I recognize it because I've had other boxes that are associated with fire. Okay, right, we got a, a uh, senna, senna, magical herb. Not for, is that senna? I say you want to say senna. I've never heard of that. Um, not good for consumption. 
don't resell it. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, Senna, but S E W N A Senna. I've never heard of that, but it comes in its own little jar, which is so cool, and it's labelled, so you can just leave it in there, and you don't have to if you don't want to put it into another jar and relabel, which is quite cool. And the jars aren't too bad actually; they're quite cute. Um, so I'm happy to keep it in there to keep it nice and safe. Um, okay. Let's have a little search through here. Now with Fresh Cauldron, you always get a bag of candles, chime candles, candles, four candles. <laughs> but we actually get five. So we've got a white one, we've got a black one, by the looks of things, orange, a red, and purple. So very fiery colours, which is good, um, as it's technically a fire. Oh yes, here we go. Here we go, guys. We've got a little black baggie, and I know exactly what's inside, which is really exciting, because now I'm going to have to keep this box. It's the fire one. It's a little metal disc for fire. Um, and we got the water one last time, or we got a water in one of them. So I'm going to have to carry on getting these, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, but I need to get the full set, really. You know me and elements. I am in my element when it's elements. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so that's cool, isn't it? It's a little dish and that will go around my water. And what I actually do with these, um, you can use them for anything, I guess. But I put them on my water um, and then I put the crystal that represents fire crystal that represents sorry i've got all the relevant crystals on top of them um you could also put a tea light on top of them i guess um then we've got an oil and this one is the power of fire oil so this is a fire box obviously um not for consumption or resale i'm assuming they've been seeing some of this stuff reselling on ebay um, oh, um yeah see there we go so it's a nice little oil let's see what it smells of mm. it smells it smells citrusy so orangey citrus very citrusy like an orange or lemony but definitely yeah, there like if it, i'd say it was an orange an orangey type of smell um i'd have probably gone for cinnamon maybe Cinnamon's a very fiery herb. Um, and it's like very powerful and fiery smell for cinnamon. So I probably would have gone for that. Um, and then we have one last thing in the box and it's our big item, which is obviously, I, it's not a plaque, I don't think, because, or is it a plaque? Because or it will be a plaque because that's the, what they're doing now, plaques. Um, oh yeah, there we go, Lilith plaque. There we go. I mean, they are quite cool in fairness. I, you know, they're cute. I mean, as all the stuff they do is very cute. Um, so I'll let you look at that probably. So she's got the serpent and an apple there. So as we know from Christian beliefs that basically Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden and obviously they picked the apple of, of knowledge and they were made to by the serpent which then made God kick them out because the serpent was the devil apparently but obviously I'm not Christian I don't believe that stuff um, as in we believe what we see when it comes to paganism there are some Christians out there who choose to do witchcraft, but I don't choose to believe in the Christian faith. I'm sorry. Um, one, because the Bible is not historic. Um, and also, it, Christians burn people like me at the stake and people like you at the stake because of our beliefs. Um, so, yeah. So, I don't, I don't really go with the Christian faith. It's not my my scene but you know if you do then that's your choice it's up to you i'm not going to judge because <laughs> we don't in this religion we don't judge anybody and by what their beliefs or you know whether their you know their color creed sexuality or their gender um so yes so which is lovely about our religion really 
Okay, so we have our little thing that says what's going on in the box. So let's read that. So it's hello, it says, hello, welcome to our August subscription box this month. We'll um, continue our new set of collectibles and thank you so much for your wonderful feedback. We are so pleased that you like them. Here are the contents of this month's box. So let's go through it. So we've got Power of Fire Candle Dressing Oil. So, which is this one. Um, it doesn't really say what's in the oil, um, which I'm assuming they keep quite secret, um, which is their choice. We have Freya's Cauldron Spell Candles. Spell Candles, which are these. Um, we have this, uh, is, I'm assuming that's Sienna, Sienna leaves. I wanna say Sienna, I've got a niece called Sienna. Um, so Sienna leaves herb jar. I wanna say it's Senna or Sienna. Uh, I'm not sure if you spell Sienna that way. C, Senna, Senna, Senna or Sienna, or I don't know. But whatever you wanna say, let me know what you think in the comments below if you can spell it out phonetically for me um and just say is it sienna i'm never good with words i don't know i'm good with words i've seen before and i know what they mean but i'm you know dyslexia unfortunately okay so i have seen this crystal before and i have one it's a red jasper red jasper tumble stone um, which is very fiery, which is cool. Um, then we have a chakra, chakra, chakra bracelet. So it's a chakra bracelet, which I do have a chakra bracelet. I can't even say it, chakra bracelet. Um, Fury Life with Joy spell kit. Okay, might as well get both up because I'm going to be showing you both. So I can actually take you through now what you need for this because we know what's in the box now. And you need an orange candle, um, the little mix of Joy Herb Blend, which is in there, and the Power Fire Oil, which we have also, we know is in the box. Um, okay, and then we have this one, because that's the next one there, the Carnelian. Courage Charm Kit, and what you need for that is Carnelian Stone, which is in there, and um, Organza Bag. Okay, um, and that's it, really. That's all it needs. Just that. So that must be it. Okay, cool. And um, that's all it says it needs. Okay, fantastic. Nice and simple, guys. Nice and simple. Okay, right, so the next thing we've got is an amethyst key ring. Amethyst, that's what it was. Did I say amethyst? I don't know, did I? I'll have to go back and watch the video. <laughs> I can't remember, did I say amethyst? I think I might have done. Um, so it's an amethyst key ring, um, which is cool. Then we got a Lilith, um, Lilith plaque. Um, deity plaque so we got that as well um, we have that we have the fire element altar bowl a pewter made of pewter which is this one cute I think don't you I agree if you agree let me know very cute I do actually have the water one to hand as well on me just behind me on my altar there's the water one so it matches that um, now I'm going to have to keep getting these boxes and to get, I get all five. If they do five, that is, they might do spirit. I don't know. They might not. Um, then we've got the Fire Element Book of Shadows card, which is this one, which you can stick to a normal Book of Shadows. Um, I have like a scanner so I can scan them on um, and then sort of fit it to an A4, which is really cool. Um, I found this out the other day, so I can scan it on. And then when I scan it into my computer, I can stretch it to A4 shape. Perfect, right? And I can do it in color too, which is cool. Um, then um, 
we have the Lilith Book of Shadows sheet and you can do the same with this one too. So we can put those into our Book of Shadows. Um, so yeah, that is everything in the box. Apart from, we do have this, which is all about the Red Jasper. Um, this one, it's all about the Sienna Herb or Sienna, Sienna, I think. Okay, so it even has the herb on there as well. Then it goes into say the element of fire, it tells us all about the element of fire, and then Lilith, who is the goddess of the month. So their sheets tell you all about it, so you can read up on it and learn, 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 which is good for anyone who is new to the um, to this to witchcraft. <laughs> was the word I was looking for. Um, so if you are new to paganism, witchcraft, this box is actually pretty good um, in fairness to them because you get something for every, that represents everything. So that's your little box, bit of a mess now. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's something that actually um, is really good because you get, you get um, something for your altar, you get a stone of the month, um, it all corresponds, you get a deity of the month, um, you know, you get an oil of the month, they, and they all represent what is in there. Because obviously, Lilith, by the looks of things, she's a serpent. She has a serpent, which is very element of fire. So yeah, she. I'm assuming she um, represents the element of fire as well. Um, again, I don't know my deities that well. Um, I only have pretty much two deities that I follow. One being the moon uh, the goddess, uh, moon goddess, and also the sun god. Um, so yeah, they're the only two I really do use in my workings, um, purely because um, they're for me the main two, you know, the moon goddess and, and the sun god, um, the sun and the moon, they keep the world turning, keep us warm, um, keep the tides going, so they, you know, they're good for everything. Um, so yeah, it's because you know me, I'm very nature based, I love my elements and they're the god and the goddess are the two that I mainly use. I don't really use any others. Um, but yeah, so I might start bringing in other deities for different spells. If I ever did a fire spell, I've got deities representation on my altar. Um, I do keep meaning though to, I just don't have the money at the moment, but I keep meaning to get the little things that I started collecting, the candle holders or the bowls that they have. They have them on their on their website now. Um, so you can order them and they, they'll make them for you. Um, so I do need to start collecting the ones I haven't got for each holiday. Um, but again, no money at the moment because cars to buy and, you know, things to get sorted. I've got a lot of birthdays this month. Um, some of my good bestest friends in the whole world are actually having their birthdays this month. So it's costing me a fortune <laughs> and it's bill month. It's well, bill, bill week, should I say. I have two weeks out of every month that is full on bills, just bills, bills, bills. And then I have two weeks out of the month where no bills. Um, so, but this is bill, bill, the bill end of the month, which is very, uh, <laughs> very stressful. Um, anyway, so that is the Freya's Cauldron box. I must admit, as much as I want to, I want to give up another box and just have the one, because I really can't afford to keep buying box after box. Because when it does come to like a cur Cures and Curses, um, and it's really good cures and curses, then I want it. But yeah, I mean, I can, I mean, I can afford to keep it now for a while because um, I, I need to get these other little element bowls because I can't, I can't not have a full set of stuff. I'm terrible. I have so much stuff. I have so much stuff in my room. Um, you will notice behind me for those who have noticed my pin board came down. It was very distressing. Um, I I stuck it up there. And the pinball's really light. I thought it would be fine. Um, I stuck it up with some those adhesive Velcro sticky things. Um, but it was actually the stickiness that came away from the wall. Um, so I'm assuming some sort of heat, moisture, or something like that. But, oh, it's just getting too heavy. Um, but I mean, I stuck stuff up with those things, and I got and they're a lot, and the shelf is a lot heavier. So I really don't know why it came down. I tried sticking it back up, but it's not working. I'm gonna have to go and buy some more, um, or just put it up with screws or something. But yeah, so I was a bit distressed. But it's fine. It's not broken. The pins are all on there. This has got to go back up. 
But I thought to myself, I'll do this video because I wanted to get that up. And then before I did the video, but I thought, no, why not? It happens, things happen in life. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the box. It's very much worth getting. If you don't get Freya's Cauldron and you're thinking to yourself, what box do I get? Freya's Cauldron and also obviously Witch Casket, your two best at ones out there at the moment, really. Um, I've, I've had them all and to be honest with you, they, they are, some are very good, some aren't. Um, but I would honestly say my two favorites at the moment are Freya's Cauldron and Witch Casket. So yeah, so if you want to get any, I would suggest both of those or one of those. Whatever one takes your fancy. I've got videos of all of them. So have a have a look, see what which casket are really coming out with some great stuff at the moment. Um and so phrase cauldron are sort of matching really. Um but yeah. So you can check out my other reviews. Just uh if you want to subscribe to my channel. Um I do these unboxings all the time. So I at least do two to three a month. Um at the moment I work a lot so I haven't really got any other videos coming out but they are very regular so and I've got loads to catch up on um, like you can catch up on or if you go to the beginning of my journey you can watch all my videos from scratch um, so yeah I've got some interesting videos if you want to make a book of shadows I can tell you how to do that down in my videos um, I've got a whole series on how to make your own book of shadows um, so check it out so Make sure you just subscribe to my channel. Give me a little thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Um, purely because the little thumbs up just gets me recognised. And my little channel gets out there a bit more because YouTube like a good thumbs up. Um, and if you've got any comments, put them down in the thing. I will honestly get back to you as soon as I can um, with the comments. I can't always keep up with them all because I'm now that I'm working more, it's hard to keep up because they comments keep coming in and I try and take a day out of my out of my week to just go right I'm going to answer every single comment and then more comments come in <laughs> so <laughs> I will get around to try and um, answer all my comments so don't be upset if I haven't replied to you um, I will get back to you okay so that is it that's the phrase cold you guys what do you think let me know um, so yeah hit that little bell if you want to know the next time a video goes up from me so you don't miss out on my uh, my little quips and quirks. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. It's a pleasure doing these videos for you. I really do love all my subscribers. Thank you so much for the new ones. I'm really shooting up now. I'm getting very close to 500. So um, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. So yeah, so um, watch to see what comes next. I know that uh, the next Witch Casket hopefully will be more elements coming your way. I'm liking the elements, you know me. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Remember guys, you be you and blessed be.